morning. from the high seas. It is our last full yeah. day on board, Prima. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start off with some breakfast. Dining room. Yes. We I like think, that. <laughs> um, Commodore is not open. Is that the name of it? But yeah. Hudson's is. So let's grab some food. They serve till 930. It's about nine now. So we gotta go. yeah. <laughs> let's go grab some grub. Okay. <laughs> Here is our breakfast menu. And they did bring us our own personal pot of coffee this morning, as usual. We get all our ocean views this morning. Love. Well, we've checked the schedule and it does not look like they're doing the rumor show this week. So we got the A side and the B side in Sid Norman's, but no Fleetwood Mac. That's all right. Let's just get some quiet atrium basking. Not a whole lot going on on this lazy sea day morning. Looking across to the Starbucks. You know, there's a Pandora store up there we noticed the other day. It is about quarter to ten, so we're taking a peek at the schedule. Oh, Qatar is playing in the Cup today, which I believe the World Cup is happening in Qatar, so that's interesting. Speedway ride. Oh yeah, that was happy morning at trivia that we just walked past. Star Wars trivia, I would be awful at. This cruise director is doing that. Oh, veterans get together. Oh, it's at the same time as Star Wars trivia, but I guess the cruise director is doing the Star Wars trivia, not the veterans get together. Whale origami, we did that already. Not on here. Deal or no deal. Casino stuff, more World Cup. Yeah, mostly spa, art, nationality scavenger hunt. So not a whole lot that we would probably personally go for, but you know what? We'll find some fun today. Speaking of shops, we were just sitting here musing about things we've seen in the shops and we haven't seen any sort of like, you know, logo gear or if you wanted to buy a ship model or anything like that. Or a store where you could buy like, oh, toothpaste and band-aids and Tylenol. So I think we're going to go on the hunt for some shops. Now on deck eight is the Pandora shop, but there's also a concept up there that says lifestyles. So let us begin there. I guess we have to go around and go up these funky little stairs. Cool. Aha, we might have a winner. Okay, so this is the Pandora store, but lifestyles appears to have logo gear. So past all the shine shines, see Prima collection. Oh, well, there's some fancy stuff over there. So we do have some like Norwegian Prima Be The First gear, cups and things. Ooh, over here by the sun and the water, more logo gear. You can gaze out at the ocean while you shop, watch people on the ocean walk. There's some sweatshirts, which I definitely need here in the sun. Ooh. <laughs> Cold Lanyards, bottle openers, look at all this new on board. They do not have ship models confirmed, but you can get lots of logo stuff. And this is also the area with candy and sundries and things. So this is your go-to shop. Just look for the Pandora store. <laughs> Toothpaste, deodorant. I knew they had to have this stuff on here somewhere. Snacks. Okay, okay. Well, there was a whole little cabinet out here. We could just look at what the offerings were for the most part. So what do you do after you successfully solve a mystery? You go outside and look at the ocean. Calm seas, shiny sun. We've got a whale tail in the distance. Dee is trying to use the binoculars to see if we can tell who it is. It looks like a fairly sizable one. I don't know that it's Mardi Gras. It's got the... Yeah, it has the new livery, but I do not see a roller coaster, which is the telltale sign of Mardi Gras. Yeah, no roller coaster confirmed, so I'll say that's either Vista or Horizon, since we were both in Cozumel yesterday. So, <laughs> makes sense. They're following us back to Florida. Oh, here we go again. Ah, it's just disorienting. <laughs> no, just don't look down. It's freaky. It's freaky, freaky out here. We made it back up here to the art zone. Plants and whatnot. Let's hop back inside. Oh, and here they've got the imagination wall. Oh, augmented reality. I see there's a camera at the bottom. It can put you in any scene that you please. Oh, funny. You can play with like digital props and things. Funny. 
Under the ocean, that's you. Man, yeah, this looks like about as close as you could get to a ship model on here as part of this uh, wooden type photo frame. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah, massage cushions. What is this? Biopod. Record player. Gosh, look, this is old school right here. This telephone and this record player. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah, there's another logo gear shop because, well, if I peek in the crack here, you can see more logo gear. So there's at least two spots for you to grab stuff like that. But up here, they're having a good, gracious job. Jewelry sale of some degree. Woohoo! Oh, I see. It's not jewelry. It's a Black Friday sale on merchandise. Well, there is some jewelry involved. I see. Well, this is about all we're going to see. Black Friday stuff. Mm. Let's run away from the Black Friday. Run! <laughs> and that brings us back up to the Pandora store. So we've gone full circle. We have come back to the top of the world. Yeah, they're doing what they call double rider out here on the go-karts today. So we figure, you know what? I'm curious to see how that works. It looks like it's a side-by-side -side arrangement. Doesn't look like there's much of a line going right now, but we can get a peek at some of the cars. This group just finished their race and unloaded. That's fun. So you can do singles, doubles. That's about it. Uh, we do have some more riders gearing up. And they're off. <laughs> The cars are remarkably quiet. <laughs> D is the champion, my friends. <laughs> Now, I think we've determined we're not doing go-karts or anything like that this go-around because we are sailing this ship in the future, which we have not, as of the present moment, announced. And we're going to be sailing with friends. Who want to do go-karts. Yes, I think yeah. that's going to make it more fun to do some of the go-karts and the sporty activities. So we're going to wait till our next cruise, and this hopefully. And Thanksgiving sailing that's completely full cool, with lots of families and like, so the kids are going to do it a lot, which yeah. is fun. Welcome back to Tea Time Crazy Golf. Well, since the golf is currently complimentary, um, which we just confirmed because we walked up and they just handed us a couple of balls, we may as well have a play. Just in case, because I know the intent was that they were going to charge for this in the future, but I think some things are still broken. Like this is a window screen that's not working. See the little icons down there. So maybe if they get this fully functional, they might charge for it in the future. I think. But for now. I want a tall club. That looks tall, but it's just not put right. So I guess it's purple or black. So we've determined the black clubs are the tall clubs. Thanks, there's my ball. So yeah, I guess you start here in the red thing. Hole number one. Somewhere. Yeah, I guess it's going to come out the bottom of the wheel. And I'm sure the wheel would normally go like, blue, 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 and something would happen. But I like I said, not today. Yeah, go ahead. No, <laughs> we make up our own rules. I want an ice cream cone. Oh, that was too much. Oh. <laughs> Mini golf is an exercise in frustration for us. <laughs> We're terrible. What can I do? Are we ready for it? Mm hmm. Bop. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the ultimate failure. That's a do over right there. Yeah. Uh, whoops. Take two. The first time never happened. What about that time? It's another do-over. Look at that. All right, we got All right. more people that need to start. Here we go. So. Can he do it on the third try? No. Too soft, too hard. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> I finally did it. I got to the green. Oh, that's all. Yeah. I think I'm winning so far. This is going to go really good. This is why we're never going to make it through 18 holes. <laughs> We're not. Yes. Yay, you did it. Okay, good. Next. So this was like a pinball machine. Just bap it up there. Oh, it went somewhere. I think it stayed up there. Oh, there it goes. Delayed reaction. So the bumpers don't work like pinball. Oh my gosh, are you doing it? Oh, that was real close. Yeah, we just got some insider intel from a young gentleman in front of us. And he, he literally just got a hole in one here, so. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so this one says, well, it's supposed to be a tune quiz, true or false, but I don't know. 
Oh, I see. No, it just says put your answer again. Interesting, for a chance to win a bonus. Thanks for Paul. Whoops, we're, we're past that part. Oh, it went over to the other side. No. Yeah, I think a lot of this stuff is not working and you just play it like a normal mini golf. We're learning as we go. We're never gonna learn how to be oh good at gosh. sports. Yeah, this is where, mm. guys, don't ever sport with us. Cause we're so good. I'm good at like some sports, not that. <laughs> Ooh, this one's got like a Plinko aspect to it. I don't know if Plinko is copyrighted, probably. Yeah, let's see what happens. I wonder what happens if you get it in the hole. Oops. Bing, 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 bing. Big money, big money. Oh, so close. Oh, if you get it in the hole, it comes out and probably almost guarantees you a hole in one. Can she do it? Oh, oh wow, that did not bounce as hard as I thought it would. It just went thump and stopped. Limited uh, booty room up here for the behind the book. That's more of a me problem than a horse problem. Oh, he did that. Can he do it? Oh, well, of course. So close. It's the left handed putt shot. You did it. You're the champion. Stage show. Take the stage and have a ball. Yeah, they've got like a microphone here blocking the hole. Oh man! That was slow. That's it, that counts. That counts. La, 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 la. Now we've got a flamingo uh, hole. Oh, I see, it's called Take a Plunge. Ah, oh, you can do diving board. Oh. Okay. Uh oh, I somehow thought the diving board would be cooler. It's not very cool. <laughs> You can use the ladder to get out at the end. Oh, or <laughs> rebound. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Oh, so good. We're terrible. <laughs> good job. So what is happening here? You put it up there into the drive through sign. It comes out and does something with the soda. Okay. Cute. There's like a, I would call that a drive in, probably. Get it? Drive. It's a golf joke. Oh, so if you hit it really hard, it can go in that hole. Otherwise, it's going to go down to the back of the ramp. I'm good at whapping it down the field way too hard. Oh, is it coming back to you? Oh, oh. <laughs> Fwap it. Oh, that was close. Um, that's a good question. Oh, okay. oh, oh, it came out where I couldn't see it. I think you want it to go in there. Yeah, if you get it in the hole up there, you get a good chance at a hole in one, I guess. Come on, gravity, you can do it. Wrong. Here comes the precision, the power. Oh, the nothing. Where'd it go? It's going to come out here by the cup, I think. Yeah. A minor amount of skill. Good job. Oh. So this one is a photo booth. I guess this one is supposed to maybe actually take pictures of you as you putt. Funny. Oh yeah, you're just putting it underneath this um, photo thing and then I guess it's gonna go out there somehow magically. Okay. Boop. Where'd it go? <laughs> Gone. Oh, your, your ball came back. <laughs> well, all right, so what's happening on this side? Oh, hit it really hard because this is a very large ramp out here. Hard as you can. No, oh, never mind, it bounced off the back wall. I gave the worst advice. Uh, hit it slightly less hard than the hard that you hit it before. <laughs> well, but harder than that. This hard, It's difficult to know what you need to do without being able to see it. We'll see if we can get the angle right where it at least there. That probably, oh, it's still gonna come back to you. Guys, this hole is lame. Yeah, you, there we go. Oh my gosh, it needed to be like one inch harder. See, you're trying to get it up this ramp. It Right, it didn't, yeah. Who designed this hole? Not me. I don't like this hole. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, we might give up on this one. What is this? That was, a, that was a good sound. Oh my gosh, she did it, it and I missed it. It's all right. Uh, guys, hole eight is stupid. Don't even. I'm, I'm not even playing hole eight. Let's move on. Nope. 
<laughs> okay, and this is hole nine, which I guess is the last hole. Normally, you could do something where I think you pay extra, and if you get it like in the little thing, yeah, you get charged right there. Something happens and you can win a cruise, but that's not happening right now. Oh, that's true. Where did it go? Maybe that was the end of it. Okay, so this is something about where it collects your ball at the end. I'm assuming maybe if you can get it in that little hole. Oh, God. Oh, well. Curious to see if this actually gets up and running properly the way they intended. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> the button is blinking. All right, he told us just drop these back off up here at the front. No special cleaning or anything needed. Boom. So here's the other side again, which is the stadium. Yeah, this is the ping pong area. Oh, wow, they have like round ping pong something. That's interesting. Yeah, pickleball area, foosball. I was gonna say, even their little benches. Oh yeah, you sit and you kick back and forth. That's really funny. Yeah, that looks um, not, not good for tall people. But that's a fun idea. Beer pong out here. I don't really remember how to play. There's a ball involved. Oh, beer pong house rules. Look opponent in the eye. Oh, this is super fun. So all of this stuff out here is no charge. I guess you just get a ping pong ball from the main desk there or something. Got shuffleboard. This is an interesting concept. I don't know if having it done in the round. Yeah, like you could. Wow. No, no, you're not supposed to climb in and play, I don't imagine. Oh, man. All right, this is called, can we hold a camera in one hand and a ping pong in the other and get any sort of footage that's worth anything? I'm going to say no. This already hurts my brain. No, you have to let it hit. No, I don't. My rules. My rules. I can pass it right back. Oh, that was awful. Oh, gosh. Okay, you got Guys, I lost. <laughs> We're leaving that thing behind. Oof. Oh yeah, they got the little shuffleboard thing. They're not very slippery. No, there's usually um whoops, there's usually sawdust on the board. Oh wow, it is hard to not get a gutter ball. Hey, that's one point. Oh. Yeah, they spin when you throw them. Which I'm sure gives you some kind of strategy. There you go. That is three points. points is that? That's like eight points. Yeah, you Woo! Did good. Bop. <laughs> oh, we have busted back out of the cabin. Y'all, we went back, we watched a movie, we fell asleep, took like a 45 minute nap. It was glorious. I needed it. <laughs> Lazy sea day excitement. I mean, we got up and sported real hard this morning, so we deserve a nap. <laughs> Sports! Yeah, I think the USA game is on right now. It is popular in the local. <laughs> Not a lot of tables to be had at the moment, but that's kind of to be expected. A couple of folks just left in this zone, so we'll call him right here. Now we'll just see what we're feeling like having today. We'll let you know what we come up with. So the plates are going to be flying in one by one. We've got fried okra. That came from Q, I believe. We've got an order of guacamole and chips from the Latin Quarter. From Seaside Rotisserie, I got a veggie kebab. And they came with the various sides. From the garden, D has a romaine and kale salad with blackened tuna added. I had it the first day. It was good. Oh. Of course, I had to get a little Indian. And in. I went with the fish tikka, nice hunk of fish, and some sides, and the veggie pakora. And I think the fish preparation or the vegetables could change depending on the day. And to cap it all off, a little shrimp pad thai. Ooh, there's a lot of food up here, and it is all good. <laughs> Welcome back to deck eight. This looks familiar. We're just gonna hang out a while. are fresh and clean and ready to jump out for an evening of, well, dinner. Uh -huh. I know we just ate lunch in video form, but we have sat around and chatted and killed time and listened to some music in the lobby and stuff. Lots of time, yeah. yeah. It was good though. So, 
dinner time, mm -hmm. and then we'll probably maybe try to catch some live music or something. A couple of bands are playing that we haven't seen yet. True. There's no, um, it's the Donner Summer, Donner Summer. Remember the Donner Party? <laughs> no, no, no. The Donner Summer Show Donner is playing Summer again. Show. Yeah. Uh, so we've already seen that, mm -hmm. and it's the B side of Sid Norman, which we've already that. heard. A lot of the entertainment repeats. Mm -hmm. So we've run out of things to go see unless we want to do repeats. Well, yeah, but we can't show. We could show the B side again, but you've already seen that, That's and it's great. And then other people can go see it. B sides, we're gonna go do some stuff we haven't done yet. Yes. So let's start with dinner. Okay. Let's get out of this cabin. <laughs> One more dinner here in the dining room. This menu should look awfully familiar. And their upcharge item tonight, when I get to the top of this other side, is the prime rib, kind of like we saw earlier in the cruise. There's our bread selection for the evening, including a cheese bread. our dessert menu which is back to the traditional hey there's a rainbow on the dessert menu <laughs> the traditional one that we saw for non-thanksgiving so for dessert we have decided to share the bread pudding with a side of vanilla ice cream welcome to deck six and the penrose bar area well, there is a band getting ready to jam out some tunes i guess we'll see if we can stand and listen to them for a while not a whole lot of chairs happening down here or you can go up above, but you don't really hear them from up above. I can't see them either. There's some art just off the lobby. Oh, there are QR codes. I don't know what happens if you scan the QR codes. Maybe you'll learn some stuff. My phone, probably nothing. Oh, well, mine didn't really do anything either. Maybe you have to actually have, like, paid Wi-Fi activated in order for the QR codes to work. Oops. Ooh, this room over here is what they call the VIP casino. I've been seeing it on the map, but this is it. I don't know if it's just like high dollar table games or maybe they do tournaments and stuff in there. There's no slot machines. No, just tables. And you can watch the World Cup. Nice. And Sports. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of little slot machines over there. All right, I'm not going in there. <laughs> oh, there's a few art pieces out here by this person who seems to dabble in sort of whites and grays. Speaking of dabbling in neutral tones, there's Dee and her fashionable neutrals. <laughs> Let's jump up a deck. Oh, the band is kicked up here in Metropolitan. Oh, they said this is a karaoke-inspired set. Funny, they're inviting audience folks up to sing along with them. It is easy. Or good night, yeah. Mm, it's after nine. Does it's it make night. Night? Yeah, we'll come back to the cabin. Mm -hmm. Got to make those final preparations. Always. All right, let's, since we're probably not doing a dedicated wrap-up video no. on Prima, let's go ahead and get all the Prima thoughts. Tell me about your day. Tell me about your whole trip. Oh, gosh. Um, so the day was nice and relaxing. We tried to do yeah. a couple of activities. Um, we didn't get to do everything we wanted to, but that's okay. We'll be back on the ship that's again true. later. Like I said, the sporting type so, stuff, I think we're going to put that off till the next trip when we're back with friends. Yeah, because yeah. I think they'll want to do it too, and it's yeah. better with groups. Um, a lot of the things we liked on the ship, food. Norwegian, I think we've deemed, uh, as far as like the cruise line that we've done, as the yeah. most, the food that is it, like the most consistent. Right. It Consistently all tastes really good. Good. Yeah. And, and this one too, honestly. Mm -hmm. And the options that they have on here are great. Love, indulge food hall. Mm -hmm. Hate the buffet. 
There's a lot of spaces that it's are just, smaller uh, and crowded here. I shouldn't say hate. That's no. a strong word. Um, Dislike the buffet. It's not your preference. But indulge is awesome, and then the local is great. And then, of course, you have the dining rooms, which are really, really good as mm -hmm. well. Um, the menu that never changes was an interesting concept. Yeah. And I figured I would like it, and I do. I mean, I feel like <laughs> if you sail on here seven days and go to the dining room every night, you might get tired yeah. of it, but you know how they throw in usually the free specialties with the, the packages and things like that. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, you mix it up a little bit. And you can still go to the local and indulge and the buffet if you wanted There's to choices. for some changes. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to eat that dining room menu every day, but it's good. We found some like good favorite stuff on that menu. Quesadilla and the... Um, you love your California, California roll. roll. are so um, good. For appetizers. There's a lot of good. That bread pudding, that's probably my favorite <laughs> yeah. dessert. The dessert menu is really limited, but... Mm. That's okay. Mm. But still really good mm -hmm. overall, the food. This service has been amazing. Yeah. It's a full sailing uh, over Thanksgiving that we did, and it was not hard to get it, like, bar service mm -mm. or any sort of service. They had enough staff that was constantly checking on you, so I really liked that. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. I was worried because everybody gets the drink package right. pretty much. And like, you know, is it tough to get a drink? It actually was not no, on this side. No, not bad at all. You just have to be a little bit patient sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The entertainment was awesome. Yeah. Summer, the Donna Summer story or show, I don't know what the, its official title is called, was amazing. We loved that. The Price is Right was super fun. It just like fun watching the real show on TV. They had like all those games. Mm -hmm. Noise Boys was awesome. We loved it. Oh, I think like your teenagers and kids will love it too. I'm a kid. I hope everybody would love it, but I don't know. It can Cat be a dancing, little bit noisy. Beatboxing. But it's called Noise Boys. Mm -hmm, they're noisy. But the beatboxing was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great show. Yeah. Um, Sid Norman, we love the, the Sid the Norman gang singer, in there. singers are phenomenal. I, know. I wish they did more than two sets, but I get yeah. it. It's a small venue; they could probably only handle two sets. It gives more people a chance to see the sets. Mm -hmm. so. We didn't watch any comedy. We had some booked, but we yeah, ended we up doing know. things that are different than that. Live music was great. The couple mm. of bands that we heard, mm -hmm. yeah. We waited till tonight to hit a lot of live music. <laughs> But good stuff. Yeah, and the outdoor spaces. We really enjoyed mm -hmm. um, all the thought that they put into like the different types of seating and just all over, kind of like the waterfront that they normally have. Yeah, the terrazza, I think it is. Yeah, so that was really pretty. The and then the infinity pools on either side. So that's all the good. Yeah, but I mean, with the good comes the bad. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. I already said the buffet. Um, the mm -hmm. weird thing about it, it's the smallest buffet I've seen on any cruise ship ever. Granted, oh, this is a smaller ship, so maybe that's why... You tend to have to walk through there to get uh, traffic flow. the pool, and so it gets very crowded in there. Yeah. Even if you're just trying to walk through, it's not ideal. And having to walk through the local bar side oh. to get back to <laughs> indulge, that was a pain. Just because of the World Cup, everybody wanted to just sit in there and watch it, and people didn't really understand yeah. that it was a walkway. There's a lot of flow issues. <laughs> Like, even in the main atrium area, there's flow issues with, like, the staircases. Yeah. If you show up on the wrong side, you have to walk all the way around the lobby to get to the staircase. Some of the stairs are, like, one way. Like, they're literally they're little. this narrow, so only people can go down or up. You can't cross or and me. do the same thing. If I'm on there, good luck getting <laughs> by me. Some of the staircases are wider, but some of them, like, are really small. So that's yeah. just some design issues mm -hmm. um, that could make it a little bit better. But, I mean, overall, we had a fantastic time. Yeah. And I think you guys would too. The go kart track looks cool. Mm. The slides are awesome additions. Wait yeah, till our really next series stuff. for some of that stuff, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, but overall, positives. Oh, room. Room is oh, amazing. Oh my gosh. We're getting, Showers. We're getting ready to go look at that it. shower right after this. So. It's awesome. <laughs> um, but like little things like the automatic closing bathroom door, that got on my nerves so much, I would stick the stool in front of it to hold it open because like when I'm a shower and I want the steam to get out of the bathroom, you know, that kind of stuff. It I wish it didn't close on its own. Times. There's just little weird <laughs> stuff like that, but I mean, overall good. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think it's actually going to jump to the top of my favorite ships list. No, but we'll be back on it for a longer sailing, yeah. so we'll see, you know. I'll now put it right in the know. middle. Yeah. It's right in the middle of my ship's list. How about that? But it, it's, it is a good ship. I like that it's smaller. I like that they did that with the ship instead of going mega like every other cruise line. I know, That's I cool. appreciate that. With a full sailing, it feels full, though. I yeah, will say it that. It does. Yeah. Especially a lot of those traffic bottleneck areas. Yeah. Good luck getting through the buffet or the local bar. <laughs> These are just our personal thoughts. <laughs> and finding a seat at Indulge during 
We didn't even go at peak times oh. and it was still tough to get a seat at Indo. Or sitting right. in the lobby to listen to a band. Oh yeah, the, the yeah. stage being hidden underneath by the Penrose. I get it, they were kind of trying to separate it and make it a venue separate from the atrium, mm -hmm. which I appreciate, but gosh, we could never get a seat in there. Hopefully you guys got to the back of, or the, the end of this video and yeah, heard all that. Yeah, that's fine. If you didn't, you just missed out. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I guess that's it. Well, we're not gonna end the series yeah. till tomorrow, but let's go look at a shower. And then we'll see you tomorrow morning. That was a lot of information. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs>